Welcome back to Repo Rethink Politics, where we jump back into our last portion of our three-part political talk. And this time we really wanted to kind of focus back on the Democrats. So, so I want to I want to stick with a, a quick one with with politics wise, and I'm not sure yeah. if you heard it, but uh, they said Biden's supposed to actually said I'm stepping into the race. But did mm-hmm. you hear that he was probably yeah. going to say my running mate is Stacey Abrams? Oh, oh shit! That. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. So I think he's he's putting out a filler, by the way. Yeah. But he's trying to see how people react right yep. now. I think he's testing that to say I'm weak on a lot of my older issues with, <laughs> uh, you know, capital punishment and he all these. He learned from other. Bernie. I mean, yeah. he didn't learn from Bernie, but but, but he that was his people Bernie told him. So mm-hmm. can I put a black face in what I'm <laughs> doing? Yeah, I know, Too right? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Pun intended. So, yeah. and I thought that was interesting because if he comes with that, it's going to make everyone else say, hey, so who are you considering your running mate? And it forces mm-hmm. them to go, mm-hmm. God damn it. Impressive. Yeah. But, but they would want to pick each other as opposed to trying to pick someone outside. So they're trapped. In a, in a, yeah. you know, so they, they, they sitting out there with, they're on their own in that way. So, right. so what you think about mm-hmm. that, man? I, I, I think that's a, I don't know if it's a good move. I'm not sure yet. You know what it reminds me of? Surface level. It, it's the political move of a uh, surface level is John McCain and Sarah Palin completely catering oh, to the base. Okay. Obviously, mm-hmm. Stacey is much smarter, but it's one of those moves of, okay. Yeah. In October, they loved her, but by November it was a disaster. So I'm not saying it'll be the same disaster, but McCain, yeah. McCain, he he was he was up there for. Oh like, yeah, he had a nice bounce. Mm-hmm. So he was yeah. leading with that first jump off. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But then she started to talk. <laughs> yeah, then she started so, to talk. Yeah. So in this case, that's why she fell off, right? Yeah. So in this case, it'd be uh, you know they're both savvy. Yeah. So I'm sure. And, and Stacy's on a voter drive, so she's already doing that even outside of running for anything Mm -hmm. she has she's working with organizations that's trying to get people to vote and making sure that they vote are is clean Mm -hmm. so she's already working on things like that so in a way Uh she's running you know what i'm saying so i just thought that was interesting i don't know if y'all heard i I, I like it actually i i I like it not not like i like it like i'm gonna vote for him now but like i'm all for it's ballsy yeah, yeah, yeah. It is yeah. A little it's like, like, well, we're so we calling out our vice presidents, but we're running mates now. That's just yeah. early. Yeah. A whole exactly. So it's just yeah. you know, it's, it's yeah. But what, see, here's the thing, though. So then, what stops like, uh, uh, what's his name, Bezos, or Bezos, whatever his name? Yeah, Beto. Him, yeah, him calling like, all right, I'm gonna have Andrew Gillum run with me, mm-hmm. and it's like, oh shit, you You're know like, what I mean? It damn. just changed the game up. Yeah, you know, I, I mean. I think he's just trying to, I think it's exactly what you said, Chaz. It's, it's, it's him doing a, he's trying to get votes and hey. evens it out a little bit. And it's so, smart, you know, at least up front. Like, did, we don't know what it really looks like once it goes through. Did y'all see Andrew campaign. Gillum on um, Bill Maher? Who? Andrew Gillum. No, I didn't see that part. Yeah. How, he, was on how Bill, was it? he was on Bill Maher. So I when I saw him on there, and remember, were you calling him out, E? Like, yo, this is going to be the man. That dude yeah, is, like that dude so is good, do? man. He's, okay, yeah. <laughs> he's good. He's okay. I mean, when you heard him how he would he didn't really even talk like a politician. He just talked so smart. You know what I'm saying? And he was talking about relevant shit and he didn't even try to talk like he was running. He was just talking like, "Look, I'm a regular dude, but I know some shit. And I'm down with a lot of stuff." And you was you, dude, he man. captivated you the way he was saying things. So if you if you get I don't think it was the it wasn't this week. I think it was either the previous week or the week before. But if you see that, you would see how impressive this dude is, man. And mm-hmm. and but his only downfall is is he black, which get, <laughs> gets me to the nah, point of here's not, the question. Hold on, hold on. Let me that's, let me let me get that. I, I, I threw that one out there for you, but I gotta give you this one now because right now everybody was really shaky, but they were saying that. America was waiting for the white man to be to to come out mm-hmm. to say which white man that we believe in is going to run for president because the actual the Biden, the Betos and the Ad, Adam Schiff, 
they that's the ones who they really want. It's almost like I just want to see. I'm tired of seeing these. I'm about women. to say Shift doesn't have the juice. I think Shift is good. I don't know Schiff if he has the juice though. though. <laughs> what? He could, but he ain't, he ain't got no swag. He, ain't, nah, he, he doesn't. He doesn't. He's getting, a, he's getting a fucking cabinet position, man. <laughs> I, I like him though. I do like. I don't know about a president, but I do like him. Uh, what, 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 do, what do y'all think? Of, yeah. What do y'all think <laughs> about? Yeah, that dude is shit. And you know, you know, Trump would call him shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Even I'm gonna roast his ass. I'm gonna make a meme. <laughs> so, but what do y'all think about that though? That people was hesitant because you know the first couple of people were women. And then it was kind of like there's no enthusiasm. Then Beto comes out and he gets six million in 24 hours. Your boy comes out again. Um, uh, you know the old guy. You know. Um, oh yeah, six. It's, yeah. The, the two percent. It's, it's my it's, turn right now. Outrageous. Yeah. And he gets five million. And so yeah. all of these white men it's, coming out it, getting this it's, job. It's, nah, it's nah. Bernie, right? It's Bernie. It's it's Bernie. Same thing. Right. Same thing is uh, 2008. I think what's gonna happen. Uh-oh. Is um, ultimately Iowa is going to be pivotal because Iowa is what put Man. Obama over the top. So I think if someone can get a victory, you know, go against conventional odds and you know really organize and do well. Man, fuck so, Iowa, dude! Wow, <laughs> serious? <laughs> I'm, I'm done with that. Oh, you got to have Iowa. Fuck that. You got to have Ohio. No, Ohio, no, no. Ohio, Florida, no, Ohio, no, and what's Iowa's the other one? First though, in the primaries. Yeah, but so tried. what though? Then it's New Hampshire. So Beto's is, is like living in fucking Iowa. And then he went down to New Hampshire for like weeks and shit. And he's going oh, around um, apologizing for, well, you know, I was I was talking about my wife that she's she's a better mother and she had to be home. But I apologize. I didn't. So he's on this apologizing shit. Wait, 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 wait. We got to pause. What's the apology? I, I'm so he's, up. he's on this apologizing things because he said some shit in the past that was. Not, not bad, but he don't want it to come up and somebody quote him. He said something about his wife um, being a better parent for the children. And he he wanted to apologize for saying that because he said he didn't mean it to be like a sexist tone of a woman being a mother. And I'm like, you don't have to do nah, that. The fuck is he, wrong with he you, dude? Win. He ain't going to win. So <laughs> all it is this 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 weak back bullshit being a, de- a Democrat, that's not good. And especially Damn. not good now because those people are gonna feed that to to goddamn Trump. He was like, Yeah, this bitch yeah. ass right here, you know? Yeah. I'm like, he got nah. you hear about Beto? What's this guy? <laughs> He's writing essays. <laughs> writing essays, no joke. No yeah, joke. He, yeah. Is. he is. <laughs> what a bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so I think the thing with, with Beto's is is he's just I think I think people don't know what he stand, stands for. Like, they don't know what his 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 what he's running on. Like, I you think know what he's I mean? he's he's Avenatti two point in the sense that Ooh. I think we think he's <laughs> we we want him to be the guy who can beat Trump, but he may not be the guy we want him to be. So it's just I, I read an I article saying, saying, him. I just I, I saw something his his um his campaign just seems too premature. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, is he? You know, but again, we'll see. So I, I, I'll, I'll, I'm, I just remember how I, vividly mm-hmm. that pe- Hillary was going to win in 2008, and Obama won Iowa, and with those primaries, you know, mm-hmm. it just switched immediately. So it's kind of like, well, it doesn't matter how much organizing you do if the people get galvanized at the right time. True, I can, true. I can do a lot for you. So all I'm saying is, if Kamala or someone wins Iowa. You know, the narrative changes a lot. The media gives you more attention, which, you know, mm-hmm. it just has such a snowball effect. Yeah. Yeah. I, we need to do like a top three. Like, who do you think your top, top three? three? Like, Democrats, That's, yeah. Kamala. Um, hmm. Interesting. I don't know about Joe or Bernie, to be honest. I don't, I don't know. I don't, so I, I'm, I would have to put Joe in there because yeah. he's, he's Joe, almost like the front runner of what people – can go against Trump. See, the he problem is, yeah, yeah, the problem is, do you want someone who can go against Trump or who is the best candidate? Mm. So sometimes that's not the same thing. Some, so you have the you have the front runner beat Trump, and the second one, the vice president, be the better candidate. 
Yeah, that's. I don't know. You gotta yeah. be careful with that. Like, like I don't want, I don't want your vice president to be the one I actually want to be president. Because <laughs> then I don't, I don't like you. Well, you know what I mean? <laughs> like if Andrew Gillum, Gillum, whatever his name. That's is. That's what Cheney did. Yeah. Yeah, but he become president though. Know? He didn't yeah. have to. He that was running. The, he was running the government. You know, I'll, I'll just run domestic uh, policy, you know, you know uh, everything energy goes, policy, everything goes housing through me. policy. Everything will go through me. Everything <laughs> will go through me. That motherfucker yeah. was the shit, dude. <laughs> and he was a fucking criminal, but that dude was the shit. <laughs> he was a, I love that quote. That, he was a criminal, but he was the shit. Yeah, that yeah. dude was, man, that dude was the shit. And I he just saw the, up, the, nah, the, he was fucked up. the satire part. That dude, man, he he actually set that up to say, I'm going to win. I'm going to be in control. If I can't be the president, I'm going to be in control. And he did it. So it's possible on the Democrat side is all I'm saying. Yeah, possibly, yeah, you have yeah. the person who, who, who runs and does the speeches. And then you have this motherfucker you don't see weeks at a time. Yeah. When was the last time you seen Pence? Oh, he just, he just came out that he... Um, told the, this, the intelligence guy, yeah, please don't, please don't leave. I know Trump is fucking up, but don't leave. Please don't leave. Oh, no, he so made that a, shit just came out, a, too. We, we don't need any more turnover speech? Yeah, yeah, please. We need you. You're like, oh, whatever. Fuck you, dude. I'm so, saying, it's like, my, like, nigga, assistant manager face ass. <laughs> hey, you know, we got a lot of turnover in the company. Uh, uh, no, no, but we need you. If you stay. I know we losing <laughs> money, but uh, I need you. Yeah. So, so I don't need this shit. So, what do y'all think? And I don't want to lose this thought. We we kind of brushed over earlier, but yes. what do y'all think about the new Democrats? Because what level? the Green Presidential Deal. No, no, House. no. Just Wait. just exposure as well as um, relevance, because the Green Deal keeps coming up, and mm-hmm. the the tenure people keep trying to push it down. And AOC is in front of that, and a lot of the other young um, House yeah. Democrats are saying, I don't give a damn if you'll push it down. I'm going to always bring it back up. I'm going to show up places talking about it. I'm going to keep talking about it. And Obama showed up yesterday, which was the 25th, and talked really? to the young. He talked to all of the young um, congressional leaders and said, sometimes we, we don't need to rush through things. We need to make sure we know where the money's coming from and all of that. Now, me, I would have said, fuck you, Obama. You should have done that shit when you was in and stop being a bitch. This is why I'm here today. Don't come telling me and supporting them where we keep getting our ass kicked. So I really like the new Democrats who's saying, I get the, the decorum that you want, but it's not working for us. It really isn't working for us. Thoughts? Mm. I, I mean, I, I kind of, when it comes to the new Democrats, I, I can't help but think about the AOC. And I hate, I know this is the problem, actually. I don't know the names, but I know the, the Muslim lady. North yeah, that's Face. Talib. That's, uh, her name is Talib something. I, I like yeah, her. I think there's two of them, actually. Yeah. yeah. But you're it's right. Her, and then the, of... it's the Somalian Muslim lady. I don't know okay, her name. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. They yeah. both wear the head, head scarf. The head mm-hmm. scarf. Mm-hmm. And then there's um, Ajib. there's the black woman. I think she's from Minnesota. I think Minnesota. The, the younger, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like Minnesota. Um, the young girl, um, the one that won the, the the Republican district, and she's like the youngest in yeah, Congress. Yeah, yep, yep, yeah. yep. And she got like yeah, she got her braids on and everything, yep. and she's yeah. Yep. And I like what she be talking about too. So, you know, that's all. That's all I know though. You know what I mean? Like there's there's really like I think it's like over 20, 30 of them or something yep. like that. Yep. Well, that's all I know. I only know those, you know, so it's hard for me to say who I like. I, I like when there's new ideas. Yep. So the fact that they even came out with the Green Deal and they're pushing it, because a lot of times it's, it's, there's no secret that ideas come all the time. That's how bills are made, right? So mm-hmm. it's just the fact that they're coming out with something so early, so soon. They just started in January and they're coming out with the Green New Deal. They're pushing it. They're pushing it to the point that we all actually have heard of it. No, no kind of what it is. It's just kind of like I, I just like that that push. That's what we need more of. We need more of our ideas, you know, the Democrats, like fresh ideas. I don't care if they're far left. I don't care if they're extreme. 
push those ideas and then sure clean it up. That's exactly how Obamacare came about. There was there was a point where Obamacare was like probably a little more far left, but you know, eventually it kept going and they cleaned it up. They they made it a little bit more reasonable and then they pushed it through because they had democratic support. That's the kind of shit that we need. We need more of that. It's just more reasonable, more like energy, more progressive, just new ideas. But then we have these older Democrats like the Pelosi's, who I don't hate her, but it's just more of the same that are kind of being like, hey, you know, you know, stay within the speed limit, mm-hmm. you know, uh, you know, they gotta, we got to be careful because the Republicans, or you got to be careful because Trump might, and it's like, man, fuck that, like, yep, yep. just push those ideas because they're they're, I, they're not ideas, they're new ideas. Yep. Let's debate those ideas, and you know, so if we have people within our own party pushing back, they're the problem. That's the way I look at it, you know. So that's kind of my you know, when you talk about the new Democrats, that's, mm-hmm. I, I like what they're pushing so already, but there's not much I can say because I don't know all of them. Yeah. You know what Be- I mean? So. I mean, just because you don't know them by name, and yeah. the thing is, what's yeah. happening is, they're changing, they're changing the actual dialogue and, and, and what's being said and what people right. are doing. And I think that's a great thing because you didn't really hear anything. All you heard was there was a Senate hearing and the Republicans didn't show up and mm-hmm. this is what came out. And then they move on. But these ladies are not allowing shit to move on. They're kind of like, uh, uh-uh, I'm going to keep talking about it. And then when exactly. they ask Pelosi, she's like, well, I'm going to talk to the ladies and I'm going to talk to our, our people. And she's keep trying to downplay it. And they was like, you're not downplaying a goddamn thing. And I yeah. love that. I love that I love. passion and to say you're still thinking about doing things the old way and it hasn't changed nothing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's why I can't stand what Pelosi, how Pelosi handles things. As much as I, I like how she, you know, she's like that older, Statesman. you know, yeah. you know how we, we, you know, there's a strong like woman mentality where they just kind of like say they make their voice heard mm-hmm. it's almost like there's like a you know, there's like an older generation of what that is mm-hmm. and then there's like a newer generation of what that looks like and it's and it's almost like the aoc has that newer version it's yep. like okay that's cool pelosi that you're doing that but you're not doing enough because yep. that's what it's supposed to look like now because we're talking to the people now not, we're not talking to the people from the 80s and the 90s we're talking about the people you know I mean, hell, the millennials yeah. that are voting too. Exactly. You know? like, and those that, are that people who's voting. I mean, think about yeah. it. That's who's voting. So why are you listening to someone that... But... Go ahead. I am curious about what Obama said, though. <laughs> I didn't yeah, even know so he, you, you need to pull that quote up. How? Because, see, that was an MSNBC thing because I didn't even realize he talked to them. And, and mm-hmm. they showed that quote of what he said. And I was like, whoa. Whoa, dude. What did he, what did you, you say? <laughs> he, he he's trying yeah. he's trying to downplay them and say almost say wait your turn and all of these people uh, are like I'm not waiting my turn I may be a member of this committee see, now I gotta hear the quote because Obama didn't wait his turn so that may I got to I got to see the quote yeah I'm a little, I want to see the context though too. yeah the context because you know yeah, I, I, I may be you know hyperbole a part of that shit but I didn't yeah. I didn't I don't like when. So no, I get what you're saying. Out. The establishment. Yeah, exactly, man. And, and I guess if I had to answer that, I'm, um, you know, I don't know. I'm. We're, they they did start in January, a couple months in, um, and we're oh, kind of. The, the only thing I'll say is, oh, well, go ahead. Yeah, no, I got the quote. So it's, yeah, go it's, ahead. It's it's one person. It's from somebody that summarized the president's remarks. Uh oh. He said. We, as Democrats, shouldn't be afraid of big, bold ideas, but also need to think in the nitty gritty about how those big, bold ideas will work and how you pay for them. That's, what's wrong with that? That's how you should pay for them. Like, that's, that's so AOC, AOC told them, so y'all always sign off on this military shit. That's not a problem. You're always no. signing off on all of these other things that we said why are we doing this? Why are we giving these subsidies to the gas companies and these, these but, other farmers and everything? You'll sign off on those, but you don't so, want to sign off on these things that will improve. And I get that. We talked about that before. So at this point, I guess my thing is, 
it's a mix of a wait and see because I'm still asking myself, you know, what is the liberal agenda at this point? What what is the progressive agenda? And it's mm-hmm. basically they're just going from issue to issue just based on what the fuck's going on. <laughs> but they just, they haven't really put True. an agenda together from right. what I've seen. Maybe I'm wrong. So right. I'm kind of like. It doesn't really matter what they're doing per se, as a as a we're still facing the same issue as a party. What's the organization? What's the messaging? What's the identity? Um, unfortunately, it's I think I was thinking about this today as someone who's old enough to I dealt with like just being in school, like public school, having homework assignments on a floppy disk, CD-ROM, and USB, and then finally we have cloud technology, Google Sheets. So, like, in between each one, there's always, like, it's always a little awkward. Like, when you go in between technology, mm-hmm. like, having a, like, okay, and DVDs are out, and you got, like, 10 boxes of VHS. What do you do with that? And then after DVDs, like, okay, now we're streaming. Mm-hmm. So, I kind of see it that way. So, it's kind of like, well, what's the identity of my, like, now everybody's entertainment system at home, it's all going to be internet connected, internet connectivity. But 10 years ago, you might have, you know, your PS3 slash some other shit slash, you know what I'm saying? So your the identity, quote unquote, was a mix of technology. Whereas now everything is kind of like all the same. Does that make sense? What I'm the analogy, what I'm saying? No, no, no. I, I, I do get it. I just you know, I'm I guess I'm progressive to the point of I want to continue to move. I didn't buy a new car so I can do the speed limit at all times and i want to see <laughs> right. i want to pull this i want to see how far it'll take me and if it'll take me far i wanted to go further i want to conti- continue to push it if it's capable of being pushed but that's my point so if i have uh if i have a, a nice tv but at the time you know i have I, you know, Xbox One or PS4 didn't come out. I still have a PS3. Mm-hmm. So, I, you know, the new shit can have 4K capability, but I still have the old shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm in between. So I won't be able to push te- the technology to the limit until there's something else. So that's what I'm saying. I, I think agree. we're in that weird gap of we the capability may be there, mm-hmm. but just the the application or the situation to use it to the maximum yeah. may not be there. I, I wonder if the actual issue is it's the, it's the battle between why you want it versus like, like okay all right so you got the car because why and you got you know the, did you say the game console the game uh, why you yeah know what just I mean? an example yeah mm-hmm. yeah so it's like it's it's whether it's the messaging like how did they reach you did they reach you because you know, well, not, forget how they reached you. It was was the messaging loud and clear, and then they got your attention, and then you liked it and fell in love with it. Or was it, you know, or was it because I don't know they had the brighter colors? Maybe you know, maybe their their red was brighter than the other red. And, you know, I'm just wondering if if you went if if Mike you went your route with your car because you know it's greener and it's 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 I don't know maybe it's it's better for the environment. Mm-hmm. You know, you liked it. And then all of a sudden you're like, I like the logo and I like the way the car looks. There's right. a lot of other cars out there too, but this is the one I like. Mm-hmm. But they were good at messaging. They were good at marketing. And maybe that's exactly what the Democrats need to be doing more. You know what I mean? Like maybe the problem is they still haven't figured out how to message. They, exactly. they don't really have a voice right. at all. And, and even, what... we just talked about right now, Obama yeah. doesn't even necessarily, you know, he doesn't even align with the, with with, I mean, I like the AOC, but mm-hmm. he's obviously going against kind of what she's saying. He, he's siding with uh, Pelosi right now, you know? Yep. Like, yep. I just read a quote where he's just, he's um, saying how much he loves Pelosi and how he loves how she's so passionate and everything she's for. And it's like, hold up, bro. Like, Pelosi is part of the problem. Like, I don't know if he understands that now, but he doesn't really need to because he's the former president. He don't need to, but right. it's just, I don't think they have a message. We already don't like the DNC, too, so and then it's supposed to run kind of that whole, that whole mm-hmm. thing. <laughs> right. So that, that's kind of, and, and what sucks is that it's 2019 now, and it's like, come on, man, you got one Time's more year. Time's running out. Yeah. Time's yeah. running out because you said, right? So, I don't know. Yeah. So, well, but, I mean, maybe that's good because we got like 
thousand Democrats like candidates coming out. Yeah, so thousands. It's gonna, gonna be that's why I like the Mad Max analogy. It's gonna be battle dome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Will... <laughs> but but Chaz, I think you absolutely I think you're both saying it. There's no set message for the Democrats. The Republicans always say, Hey, look, this is what we're getting on now. Like the Mueller probe. Let's jump on it. They should be apologizing because everything has been exonerated. No, nothing has. Nope. It's been exonerated. The next motherfucker come on, the president was exonerated. No, it hasn't. Next motherfucker come on, the president. They stay on message. We can't even get a good message to stay on because everyone wants to have their own ideas of how things go. If we was structured to say we do this, then the next thing we do this. But it looked like Pelosi doesn't want to support what they're doing. They supported her with what she wanted initially. Mm. When are they going to get what they want? Now, mind you, they may have got something that we don't hear about it because, you know, the media probably didn't let it out. Unless you follow in Congress, you don't know what's actually been moved ahead or not. But it doesn't feel yeah. like they're being. Um, well, go ahead. So I, I I don't know if it's she doesn't like like I, I wonder if it's more so um, they don't know she the Pelosi doesn't know I'm I'm saying it wrong Pelosi doesn't like the way or how the new Democrats are going about these new ideas okay. I, I, I think think there's a battle That's of fair. how messages are being put out if that makes any sense you know no, what I'm saying it, like it does it does. But I think they got an old way of thinking, though. So we're in an era that you can't go back to, you know, hallelujah, let's hold hands. We're not going back there no more. That shit doesn't exist anymore. But those people grew up in that era always actually legislating during that era. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I know exactly what you mean. But I agree with you. I think she's uncomfortable that this boldness, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. This boldness yeah. is a little too much than what they want to actually present. Because they don't yeah. know how to defend it, I think. Well, I think it's because I, I think she thinks it's, I, I think she's scared of it. I think it think, she thinks, oh, well, you know, it's the old school mentality. That's what I'm yep. saying. I feel like yep. it's like, I feel like her, I think she feels like, wait a minute, because, all right, let's take a step back. Let's be honest. All the new Democrats we're talking about are all women. They're all women, you know, and mm-hmm. I think she's trying to say, oh, 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 you know, slow down. You don't want to be that 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 angry woman just going out and, you know, spewing out all this whatever. I think she's trying to, you know, she's not really standing around and, and, and she's trying to like almost like correct them. I almost like say, like, everybody relax and slow down. It's like, no, it's like, <laughs> no, nah, we that's not how we think anymore. Right. Right. It, it, I, it's like I'm I'm a man. I'm sitting here. I'm listening. Keep speaking. I, I like what you're saying, but I don't think Pelosi thinks that that's what. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the you know the older generation doesn't listen to the you know AOC as much because they think you know they know it she all. She doesn't know what she's talking about. You yeah. know because she's young and you know experience is something. But I I just think it's the I think she she doesn't like or not even just her. I think all of the older Democrats don't like how they're coming out with these ideas they're just yep. too bold and too brash and, yeah. and you know that's just my thought it's no i, I mean I, it know. looks that way let's 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 just say that's what it looks like at a minimum it, that's yeah. what it looks yeah, like right 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 right, right. Yeah. so i think you're right but and i agree with you anyway but it's it's just mm-hmm. odd that during the next election what if a whole nother group just like them come in again then it's then they're being surrounded because I think these these women are giving her an opportunity, and then when it comes up again, they're gonna be like, "Uh, uh-uh, we gave you an opportunity, and you didn't do shit. We wanted to yep. impeach this dude. We wanted the Green Deal. We wanted to tell Israel oh, yeah. go to hell. You didn't support the Muslims like you should have. You didn't do a lot of stuff." You know what I'm That's saying? That's true. I forgot about the impeachment thing because she came out and said that hell, she didn't. Yeah, want impeach to, the motherfucker. Didn't want to impeach. I saw that. I was like, whoa! I was like, don't <laughs> say that. I was, yeah. I like, goddamn, you, like, I'm not voting for you. Like, that's not even a. <laughs> yeah, but I respect it though. You you see what I'm saying? Because I think we're in that era of brashness to say, 
look, if a person is going to be mean to me, I'm going to be mean. They come from the era as like, no, and they go low, we go high. Dude, you keep <laughs> losing when you fucking keep going high. So are you really think that's going to do anything? Look at what Obama accomplished going high. He accomplished a lot, but you know how much more he could have got? But I think they would have fucking tried to throw him out if he did anything more than that. <laughs> but it is what it is. But anyway, yeah, I think we beat that bitch up. Um, last is the close out with the Mueller investigation. We didn't hear it. We don't know what's actually written. Um, yeah. Barr was the guy who said, and they put him in because he said, I don't think Mueller should be doing this. I think. Uh, this guy is doing something that's illegal and they put him in. So when he got the report, he assessed it any way that he wanted and worded his summary to say that the president can't be prosecuted. Is there anything more you think or any of you think after this Mueller thing went through and Barr made his assessment of it? Um, and they already know that this dude was in the pocket with Trump. Do you think one will Congress or the public will get to see the Mueller report? And if we do see it, do you think anything will come out of that besides I mean him closing it out? It's, it's logic. Motherfuckers have went to jail, so it just it just seems like we we hear something. It's just like okay, first forty eight. Hey man, two people got murdered. Then you send in a report. I right, just because those two people got murdered, they got nothing to do with you though. You know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, it's too close. Like it's it's too close. So I'm I'm skeptical. Um, unfortunately, this may politicize the justice justice department. Right. Um, I guess I don't know. So I don't. It's we're speak saying it out loud. That's my that's my new shit right now. Like anytime you hear any situation, you just say it out loud and see how it sounds. I think people don't like do that in a personalized enough. Right. Um, so I was like, okay, I the president used to host a reality show, <laughs> and now he <laughs> got accused of colluding with Russia, and there was a report about it. Okay, who got the report? So the dude sent the report to, to the attorney general. Oh, when did he become the attorney general? Well, he didn't. He got appointed. So. Oh, so you mean that guy can kind of just say what he wants, regardless if it's true? I guess so. So just saying that out loud, mm-hmm. why would I not believe it's some bull? Why would I? Why would I not be? Basically, if you reverse parties, this is a um, Democratic president, Republican majority. Mm-hmm. You, do you think they would abide by that shit? They just say, Hell "Okay, no. cool, we believe you." Mm-hmm. So I, I, I guess part of my problem, and I, I do want to hear what you have to say, E, but. Part of my problem is there was just so much shit and so many people indicted that how could he not say, you know what I'm saying, that the president should be indicted? Mm-hmm. But he didn't. Now, they said because of the position and the, the, the legal terms of government and judicial and all of that, he can't say that. It will have to be Congress who says that. But what Barr did was say, I'm not even going to let Congress do it. I'm going to say, nope, he's innocent. And he didn't even give the opportunity to the House to be able to assess the information. But that still sounds too weak to me because we've been losing on every goddamn thing when it (laughs) comes to fucking Trump. And I'm like, this dude is Teflon. This is just bullshit. You know what I mean? So, e, e, what's your uh, thought, yeah. man? That shit fucks me up. That's all the way, I, I, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's it's like what you said, Chaz. I I wonder if it's just about whoever says something the loudest, then it kind of drowns out the the whole report right now. Maybe it, I, I'm I'm still waiting to find out if it comes out. I think the report's going to come out. I, I don't think it even really says anything other than you know the new attorney general giving his own opinion, which. It's pretty much irrelevant, you know. Like he is the attorney general, but it's almost like you know, like why, why, you know, we're just repeating what he's saying about a four-page summary. But at the same time, we got this this long report, two-year, millions of dollars worth report, mm-hmm. 
that we haven't even heard it. It, it just came out. Like, it's like nobody read the whole thing yet. Nope. You know, just release it. And then let's find out. It's almost like, and that's what I'm saying. That's what I, I, Trump's going out. You know, he's going behind cameras, behind the mics. And he's like, see, I told you. There's no collusion. And I didn't do anything wrong. As a matter of fact, we need to be investigating the Democrats. And it's like, yep. shut the fuck yep. up. Like, like, there's nothing to talk about yet. The report just finished. And we're actually trying to figure out why it's over in the first place. Yep. You know? And, I mean, at the end of the day, the question is, we went two years doing this. And, and at the end of the day, we end up with no answers. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Yep. Something came out of this shit. Like, you know, so that's. Exactly. I mean, and it's really nothing to bothers. talk about yet. You know, yeah. there's nothing. To, it's just they're creating the conversation. And that's what this motherfucker's been doing for like two to three years now. And the media hasn't figured it out yet. It's mm-hmm. like nobody. People just need to just ignore what's happening and then just wait. But I know they got to get ratings. So they, this is what we're talking about. Not, yeah. not us, but this and- is what's what the topic is right now. It's like, oh, the report was nothing. It's like, nah, just wait and release it and we're going to find some shit, you know? Because I I think there's Uh, more in it and he's trying to summarize it and he he took, what, 48 hours? And you think he sat there and strictly said, oh, I'm going to read this line by line and uh uh-oh, this one um, is right and this one is wrong. He didn't fucking do that. (laughs) I know Trump ain't read it. That's all. I'm well, saying. he didn't know, but he, he's not allowed to read it yet. Oh, I think, okay. Yeah, well, so I no one was allowed to read it other than Attorney General and Rosenstein, who Mueller actually uh, reported to. But yeah. the AG is the one who says, should it continue? Should it go from that? So it's only those three people who had access to it. So now mm. everyone is saying, oh, let that shit out. And Trump is crazy. But again, depends on how you interpret the information, because if he said let it out and it says clearly, oh, these are the things that he did that is obstruction. Absolutely. Only Congress can do that. And then he'll be like, whoa, wait a minute. Where did that come from? Because he's so ignorant that since the AG said um, he's he didn't do any crime, he's going to say there is that I'm, I'm being exonerated for everything. But there's a quote that said he didn't he, something about doing a crime, but he's not fully exonerated. It says that he's not fully exonerated. So there's something in that that says he did some <laughs> fucking wrong shit. <laughs> I'm kind of like, wow. But yet you're going to, you know, take a but victory when lap. But, but when you say it out loud, oh, my God, the, the attorney general may, may, may have lied. Why? Oh well, the president kind of planted him there after <laughs> the last one got fired. It was like, oh, so I was like, why are you surprised? Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? It's, <laughs> it's I the guess, same story. You know, man, man. As Game of Thrones say, winter is coming. When it's coming, mm. yep. <laughs> are you know what? Actually, you know what? No, opposite Game of Thrones. Maybe winter isn't coming. We were saying winter's coming. No, elections are coming. Elections, yeah. is elections coming. are coming. Mm, elections is coming. <laughs> But not the soon House enough. of Harris. Yeah. Not... The House of O'Rourke. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, those are the ones that I'm, I'm just kind of like, I wanted to hit a lot of these. And, you know, Chief Justice Roberts, I want to end it with this. He rejects mm-hmm. the bid for the block ban on the bump stocks. He where did. All the, gun, all the gun motherfuckers was like, look, we send this to the Supreme Court. And Chief Justice was like, fuck that. We're not listening to that shit. And they like what? They sent it to the lower back. Was it like back to the lower courts? No, he was like, we're not gonna hear this at all, because the lower court said no. This they said that's what they wanted, so it's fine. So they jumped it and said, let's send it to the Supreme Court. And Just Roberts said, we're not listening to that. No. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Yeah, fuck yourself. <laughs> 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 so that was a win with Roberts saying, come on, man. This shit is for killing people. This isn't just for recreation. Come on now. We're not even going to listen to that. Where that. Leave that back where it was. When they said no, we agree. Leave it down there. So they they was just kind of like blown away with that. It was like, oh, my God. And the last one is they're bringing up Obamacare again. Dun, dun, Bro. Dun. What a waste of time. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna die in the house. Yeah. It's just it's gonna die. So it's just 
don't like I mean not it's not gonna die, meaning like the trying to go after it again is just gonna die. Yeah, because so they're not gonna vote against it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's gonna be it's unpopular for Republicans because there's no alternative. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they they need to be careful with that because then they'll go on the record, you know, when when in twenty twenty when it's time to vote again, it's going to be oh you voted against Affordable Care Act. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to take your medical away. The Republicans they're taking away your medical and they don't care about your mother. (laughs) (laughs) And that's gonna fuck them up. Yep. (laughs) Just crazy. No, no, Mike. Those 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 ads got to be much better. They got to be much brutal. More brutal. (laughs) Yeah. Do you hate your family? Because Republicans do. <laughs> do you know? No, no. Pick no. Republicans want you to pick out six caskets, one for each of your families, because they'll be dead. They'll be after dead they re- <laughs> after they repeal Obamacare. No, the Affordable Care Act. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and you get them with that. So, yeah. So, yeah. Quick round robin on all that, but um, just a lot of shit, man. And it's and it's just getting. And it doesn't to the, feel good, you know. It what? doesn't feel all good. All this shit yep. feels like um, it's just like unseasoned rice. Like you can eat it. But it's just it's, it's just it's so it needs more rice. I, I don't know. It's 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 not bad, it's, but it's not good. I, I you know what I'm saying? It's it's I'm no, eating it's definitely it. bad. Definitely bad. No, no, but it it could be worse. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, it can. But be it can worse. be a lot better. Believe you me. It can be no, worse. Bland, bland rice can can be worse. It's but just, no, it's, it's but you can, you, can, you can put something <laughs> on rice. Well, burnt rice. Yeah. That shit yeah. is disgusting. Oh, okay, man. there you go. It doesn't matter what you put with burnt rice. You taste that shit. Anywho, well, thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. Damn, you got a donkey up in this book? You know what? Um, <laughs> I was I was once a sharp blade. <laughs> I am now dull and jaded. <laughs> dull and jaded. Damn. I'm, 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 I got, I, oh, we got one? You can see, I mean, I, I, they're going to let that report out. We're going to find out what's in it. It's just going to take like a week or two. But Yeah. Yeah. We're going to find out bits and pieces. Shit's going to go down, and then, and then nothing's going to happen. That's how it works. Yeah. It's going to be some fucked up shit. You're going to be like, whoa. And it's just, yeah. okay. And you're going to be like, Nothing what the happen. fuck? He didn't put that out? And then you they're going to be like, um, I do have a prediction. We haven't we haven't seen or heard from um Trump's wife, the first lady, for a while. Mm-hmm. I think she'll she may have another gaffe in the next month. <laughs> I think she'll like, fuck up. Like she's gonna say something or she's gonna trip she gonna up show on, her ass on the steps or, or something. something. I, I think there's gonna be some disaster. She's gonna wear like some pumps. <laughs> <laughs> Go to Africa with the mm. With the stereotypical hat. <laughs> no, it's going to be worse. a hat with a thing. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. It's, it's going to be a lot worse. She's going to fucking... It's, you know, it's just going to be like a polluted river. And she's going to have like a whole bunch of like uh, eyeliner or some shit. I don't know. It's gonna, <laughs> it's just, what they got to do with it? Because <laughs> like when it runs... Oh, it's like the pollution in the river. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Damn, you clever as fuck. Yeah, I say, yeah. <laughs> Boom. Nah, well, I ain't got nothing really. I just, it's, I'm waiting on the report to your point. Um, it's, it's, I think there's something in there that Barr has overlooked intentionally. And I think when that comes up, people are going to be like, why the fuck didn't you say but that? But how do you know it's going to be the real? What's the process for these kind of things? How do you know it's the real unaltered report? So that's why they want to have Barr. Fire? They're going to have Barr in front of the judicial, and they're trying to get Mueller. But they saying all you need is the report. You don't need Mueller. So because if you get Mueller, he was like, no, I, uh-uh. I had 67 pages. I didn't have 66. Nope, we only got 66. Nope. I had 67 pages. And the one that's missing is the dun, dun, dun. The smoking gun on that yeah, ass. Yeah. Exactly. So, or yeah, a series of edits. What size was the font? Redacted. 11. Redacted. This font is 12. Redacted. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? <laughs> so they, they're going to have to redact a lot anyway because they said there's classified information that shouldn't be to the public or to Congress. And I'm kind of like, okay. 
Yes, so, it's gonna go to the committees. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. So I mean, I get that, but uh, okay. somebody's gotta right. hear it and somebody's gotta see it. But I think there's a smoking gun in there. It may not be he colluded with Russia, but it's, it's gonna like be something that he yeah. did something illegal. That wasn't yeah. part of the investigation. That's being pissed on is not illegal, Mike. Yeah, yeah, being pissed on. Yeah, that's true. Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah. Depends where he did it, you know. Oh, know. Shit. Uh, <laughs> hopefully not near a school. Yeah. That would be weird. I know that'd be weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, yeah, someone had or a Neverland. Mask of, no, no, someone had a mask of Avana. Ooh. That would be weird. Uh, that would be a great blackmail. Mm-hmm. I want you to say you're Ivana. Or you he know was having some s- weird shit. Or he was having like, sex with blackface. No, <laughs> no I had, bro. Okay. Because they all doing it. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. All of them. All of them. All of them. All of Not them. Us. All of them. <laughs> yep. Uh, I guess I use this. I I will use this opportunity to defend myself because Uh-oh. I did trash rule America. Mm-hmm. Um, so the U- University of Georgia fraternity, um, uh, they had the um, the controversy, the pick my cotton, uh, you fraternity mm-hmm. suspended. What? Mm-hmm. Y- y'all seen that? Uh, no. I'll send y'all a link now. Yeah. So typical Georgia fashion, typical racism. Fun. Yeah. Fun. That's pretty normal in Georgia. I'll yeah, send y'all the link. Y'all got it? Yeah. So they they suspended the fraternity. Just be- is, that a, is it a white fraternity or what is that? I mean, in the video, it's just you know students of a certain whatever. Pick my making cotton. a joke. Dang. Pick my cotton and word, and it's like, in the in the video it had a belt and it was like trying to like fake whooping somebody and I was laughing and drinking. So it's like, what? Oh, oh, you didn't hear about this? Oh, yeah. I'm. Mean, how often does this happen? And these rule. You know what? You know what? You're right. Mm-hmm. Cater to cater to the rural voters because mm-hmm. they mm-hmm. matter. Rural lives matter. Here's a here's a quote from it. Sounds like lo- local news. Sound like someone off camera taunts, "Do it! You won't do it!" And then someone yells out, "I quote, pick my cotton, nigga." The man says, <laughs> what? using the belt to strike a person lying on the bed under a comforter with a loud thwack. And I don't know if that person <laughs> underneath the bed is black or not. So that's yeah. what fucks me up. Yeah. So I quote, Whoa. University of uh, Georgia. Typical. Every 10 years, you're going to get something like this regardless. No, no, no. Not, t- not 10 years. Once every a week. year. Oh, my yeah. God. What? Yeah, this is very often. It happens a lot. Yeah. Damn. Halloween, everybody does blackface. Oh, yeah. And every so often, these schools. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. But you want, mm-hmm. you're asking for what? <laughs> you want a fucking movie theater? You want a fucking this? Okay, all right. Man, I, got you. I, got <laughs> I bet. Yeah, how about that shit? Wow. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So fuck Buffalo, fuck Syracuse. It's all about New- 2019. NYC. Twenty fucking nineteen, <laughs> man. <laughs> Both for me. Both for me. Not that. Not that racist shit. How about that? Yeah. Wow, Athens. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I mean, alright guys, I really appreciate it. <laughs> repo, repo, rethink politics. Uh, we get in and we try to get as much in as possible. But we will definitely see you back here soon. As soon as we get the mule information back through, because we uh, gotta talk about that. Moolah. The moolah, moolah, baby. The mooly moolah. Anyway, thank you very much, and we'll see you next time on Repo. Later.